a big car. Hello. I know I'm not Arta, but Arta Tech Tales, it's like Linus Tech Tips, I guess. So you probably see a bit more of me on this channel. Long story short, my daughter destroyed my laptop using water. Think it's nice, nice, nice to put water well, on. Put my Pico 4 on. Put virtual desktop on this, Steam VR. It worked. Like, ridiculously well. And we're just going to um, see how it goes, really. Because it just blew my mind. Because quite honestly, the next standalone headset that's going to be on your face could be powered by something very similar to this. We're playing Doom right now, and I've got this set, I've got this cranked up to ultra. 90 frames a second in Doom, and this is like maximum everything. So to give it the best fighting chance, the best performance it can get out of the box without adding strain onto it. Need one of these. Need one of these, it'll type, type C to gigabit infinite ethernet. You can do it wireless, but we want to give it every advantage we can from this little machine because we'll be running through a Wi-Fi 6E router. Do we use the Quest 3 or Pico 4? Nah, fuck it, I'm using the Pico 4. Let's get this all set I'm just gonna leave this running. I'm gonna get my stuff. They look great together. Just plonk that on top of there. You got your see-through like the Apple Vision Pro then as well. This is gonna be completely battery driven. So there's no turbo mode because this can turbo up to 30 watts. But when it's on battery, 25 watts. I'm gonna plonk it over here with a camera on it so you know I'm not fooling you or scamming you. I'm not from Kolkata. So, let me get it set up and we'll just have a giggle and see what we can do. Should be a nice stand in here I can use. What have we got? Itty bitty stand. Connect it to the ethernet and play some VR games on a, on a portable PC. Why it's so dirty? Oh, it's so cute, look at it. So why am I doing this? Because I'm a fucking nerd, that's why. Here we go. Beautiful. Right, into the Pico before that runs out of battery. Again, the reason why I'm using Pico 4 is because I really like it. Okay, we're here, right. Let's drop this down to medium. These are my settings. We'll keep the bit right up. It, copy them if you want to, that's fine. And now we're just gonna, we're just gonna do everything through Steam VR, okay? Everything through Steam VR. Okay, so this is pretty much the most ideal situation you'll ever be in. If I go here. 2064 by 2064 per eye, and I'm running at 90 hertz. So let's just see what it, what it feels like. <laughs> insane! Just there. No, I need to. I need to. Just insane. What we got? 90 frames a second. 90 frames a second from a little mobile PC, not even plugged in. It's not plugged in. It's not even plugged in. This is battery powered. Look, 90 frames a second. I got a bit of latency that might be from the fact that it's from a portable PC. Let's get into a match though. What? 90 frames a second, medium preset. And you know what? It looks good. I'm only going to put the performance overlay up when I think I'm stuck. When I'm struggling. Okay. But just think about it. This could. I'm playing a PC VR game right now. I haven't played this game in ages. I'm thinking of Tabot. I mean, come on, guys, honestly. A little bit of hitching. And mainly user error. In fact, I was all user error. I've not played contractors in a very long time. But I'm proving the point right now. This, this thing is mental. Let's just go for the settings quickly. Because it might still be on high settings, you know. Medium, medium, high, low, low. That is perfectly playable. Absolutely playable, that is. Insane. I still I just can't believe this, this runs like this does. Okay, let's try... Phasophobia. My all-time favourite horror game. 
Now, see how this runs. Now, this has got AMD FSR in this game. Sorry. 50 frames, latency's tanking a bit. Give it a second just to load everything in. Okay, 71 frames. And remember we're recording this one on the headset. Let's just see if we can tweak any settings. We're on quite high settings as it is. So, let's just, right, one second I will try. Let's try this. Try it on balanced. Look at that. 90 frames a second. I'm just going to go to a random, let's go to a random match. Let's go to Tangle Wood. I'm not going to put anything in. We're just going to... Let's see how it feels. Oh, man. This is so playable. A little hitch in here and there, but that's from loading the map in. But we'll go in and we'll just... Oh, I've got it set to professional. The fact that this is running, I know I keep saying it, on a portable little machine like that, an inexpensive. Well, I, was, I say inexpensive. It is. It was quite priced when it came out. But I guess now. I mean, I picked this one up for two hundred and eighty pounds, which is about two hundred fifty euros. Around three hundred dollars, I guess. I won't play a full game. I just want to make sure it runs fine. Ninety ms of latency. I guess if they could somehow. Oh, okay. Right. So picture this. This hardware built into a headset, so there's none of this network overhead. This will be incredible. I'm playing full PC VR games now on a little tiny PC. Now let's try what we got. Let's try Blade and Sorcery. Everyone likes Blade and Sorcery. Let's play that. Scaling, scaling option. Play. Yes, I, do wish to I do wish to proceed. This is all on a portable PC. No graphics card. Well, Built in obviously. No dedicated graphics card. Super sampling, ultra quality. Nah. Oh, here we go. Balance. 90 frames a second. We'll put cheat modes on though because I like to have unlimited power. Where are they? Alright, what we got? Let's put the uh, the old gravity ones on. 90 frames, 70 frames. It still looks pretty decent. Right, let's just go to. I guess an arena sandbox. Yeah, Call it on here as well. Oh, it's moving out now. <laughs> yeah, you call that a spell, boy? I try to stay central when I'm playing. So hard. Unlimited power. It works. Next. Look how quick and snappy it is as well. Look how quick and snappy it is. Uh, let's try VR chat. Try VR chat. We'll go to... I'm trying to think of a really bad place before. Everyone goes to the Black Cat. We'll probably just go there, mute our mic, mute the sounds so we don't get any racial slurs. This is playable. I've got 60 frames a second. There's some avatars loading in. There seems to be some absolute brain rottery up here. Let's have a go. As long as it's a smooth experience, consist which it is, I don't know what the recorder's going to be. But inside the headset, as long as it's a smooth experience, which it is, you're fine. Ah, skibbity. Ah, oh, yeah. I heard that one. <laughs> Black hat ain't changed. Now I'm going to try something which I've not tried yet. Seven days to die, the VR mod. This is so unbelievably hard to run. Now just for people to know, my main rig, it's a 5800X 3D and it's a 3090 Ti. And even that, in some places, dips below 90 hertz on a Quest 3 full res ultra mode on. <laughs> I can't eat the 2D trees. Uh, where we at? 60 frames a second, 50 frames a second. Where I am, playing 7 Days to Die VR, which is insanely hard to run. The thing is with VR, it has to be a consistent experience. Any any weirdness, and that's when people start getting motion sickness. That's when people start feeling ill. Again, I know it's on the lowest setting, but you have to, you have to put it into perspective, man. This is... 
This is a portable PC on battery mode, playing VR at 2046 by 2046 per eye, and it's running. Okay, I'm not come prepared for this. I'm probably gonna die here. <laughs> okay, let's get some more zombies on us. The little device that can. So yeah, if you want to play VR on your handheld <laughs> PC, then you can now. Insane, it just opens up so many possibilities. Now I'm thinking now, I mean, I've got an old Rift S upstairs in my house. Now, do I pull that out and do I directly connect it to that? But just think, hang on, wait, I'll just put this, put this down where we little chat. Put these away, always, always be nice and tidy. But now what we at? 7% battery life. I've been playing for over, I want to say an hour and a half, I'd say. So similar similar rate to like a Quest 3 or a Pico 4. If you've got one and you've got a VR headset, try it. But that really does show what the future of PC VR is going to be. I'm excited because I'm a fucking nerd. There's going to be more of these sort of videos. In fact, no, if you like this kind of stuff, I mean, I've got loads of VR hardware. And we maybe do some games and stuff like that. But I think we might be doing some more weirdness like this. Yeah, just let me know. Let us know. Comment. You can write. You can talk to us. You can chat to us. It's like a chat bot, like a forum, and we can reply to you. It's great. But yeah, Rog Ally, cheap VR, PC VR, looks good, performs well. Battery life is a bit abysmal, but what can you expect? You got stuff like the Legion Go, which has got better cooling than this, so try that. Rog Ally, boys and girls, and everything in between. Try it!